In this video, experts from Little Beaver, the premier manufacturer of earth drills and augers, take an in-depth look at replacing the core of the flex shaft. First, disconnect the throttle cable and kill wires from the machine. Make sure the on-off switch is in the off position to avoid an unexpected start. Remove the two bolts and nuts that secure the half-moon clamp to the clutch bracket. Grab the flex shaft and pull it away from the machine. You might need to wiggle it a little so the drum will release from the rotor. Next, to remove the drum from the end of the flex shaft, loosen the two set screws on the drum with a 532nd inch Allen wrench. Once the set screws are loose, slightly drive the drum off of the shaft with a rubber mallet, turning it as you go until the drum is removed. Place the shaft assembly on the floor. Using two 18 inch pipe wrenches, place one wrench on the flex shaft housing and the other on the end assembly where the clamp was. Make sure the pipe wrench on the end assembly is going counterclockwise. Step down on the pipe wrench to loosen the connection. Unscrew the end assembly from the flex shaft housing. If the core will not pull out once the end assembly is loose, you will need to replace the complete flex shaft assembly. Before sliding the core back into the housing, it is necessary to grease it using white lithium tool grease. Start at the stub end of the core and squeeze a bead of grease on the core as you push it into the flex shaft housing. It may be necessary to turn the core at the clutch drum so the stub inserts properly into the transmission pinion shaft. Tighten the end assembly down. For more information or questions about your Little Beaver Earth Drill or to check out additional service videos, visit www.littlebeaver.com 